So the reason why I moved to LA was I was here for a month just doing some research and I could see like the art scene was fantastic and I loved the people around and uh, great possibilities for painting walls and loved the gallery scene and everything over here. People were talking about yeah, the art scene is great in New York but um, I, I thought that uh, that LA was, I could identify myself with LA and the lifestyle so that's like I wasn't even considering like where in the United States to settle. So the stuff that I'm working on right now is this new collaboration with this photographer uh, Thomas and he's doing photo manipulation and he's also known for photo manipulation that's how I know him and he does this amazing body parts of like fashion models and I want that to combine with my abstract art so he does the photo manipulation and I do like paint the art on top of his like mixed media acrylic and spray. I grew up on up in Copenhagen, uh, or like a small town out of Copenhagen, and I was inspired of like a lot of graffiti artists. Uh, the graffiti in Denmark started in 1984, and that's the year I was born. So I didn't know of graffiti at that time, but uh, when I was like growing up, I saw like uh, the trains in Copenhagen with all the graffiti, and look at the streets, and a, a lot of uh, huge graf graffiti writers in Denmark, like uh, Bates and Sape and Sweat and CMP, doing everything from like littering and. Um, and a beautiful characters, uh, background and like track side uh, sceneries and all that kind of stuff. I was just, I've just been in love with it all, and it was a natural step for me to expand like my drawings, my paintings, to grab like a spray can and try to do like lettering as well. And and I've been doing that since I was like uh, 15. Graffiti in LA like seems more accepted, like more that more normal, if you can say that, because. In Denmark, like if you mention like graffiti, like to society in Denmark, people would like, oh yeah, th that's the stuff going on in the train is horrible. It's like vandalism and everything, roughly speaking. Um, but over here, it seems like more uh, more accepted um, that street street art is like a big scene over here, and also like huge like street artist uh, icons as um, Shepard Ferry and, uh, and Buff Monster, Run English and all these guys. Um, it's like the whole world are mining these guys and they are definitely putting LA on, on the map of, uh, of street art and graffiti. When I'm doing, when I'm painting graffiti or street art or mixing it all together, I want people to stop up and look like I love details, so get lost in the details and see and, and slowly see shapes and what's going on, looking closer and just like staring at it. I love when people like discovering new details, new shapes and get like their own like impression of like what is going on. I love these long quiet nights at my studio. It's uh, all dark and quiet and I can really like go into depth with the details uh, and with my brushes and standing in front of a huge wall and I'm about to buff it I love that feeling as well you can feel the sun the fresh air and uh, and you just start going big scale I love it all I love listening to music when, when I when I paint like because I, I think like it helps me just forget like the surroundings and I can I listen to everything from like it actually depends on what I'm painting, if I'm doing like small details or like big scale or murals or everything. So it can be everything from like a deep house to uh, to jazz, to like a chill out and lounge, to, to um, also like trance and like a progressive house. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a, a mix of like what I feel like and what I'm working on right in the moment. Besides like canvas and murals and uh, the, like, what can you say, traditional services, uh, I'm thinking about maybe doing some sculptures or like uh, trying to paint on like other uh, surfaces and, uh, and substrates. Um, so I'm just here like to experiment.